I'm gonna say I think you'll be surprised. Okay. This week, we'll be taking a big old box of carpet scraps that were actually sent in by a fan of the channel and seeing if we can turn them into shoes, as per the concept. We were sent these scraps by Carl, a student in Sweden who's working on a project to see how offcuts and waste bits of carpet can be reused into other things. Carl was nice enough to make a quick video telling us all about the project he's been working on and a bit more about the scraps he sent us. So we're going to pass it over to him. Hello Oliver, I'm Carl. I'm part of a group of uh, students here at Chalmers Technical University in Gothenburg, Sweden. And we have been tasked with creating or finding something to create from this uh, carpet uh, waste material that we are provided with. So we're working with a company and a municipality in the south of Sweden currently to, to try to bring this material waste from this company and a work training program from the municipality together to, to create uh, both jobs and a more sustainable use of these materials. It's inspirational and interesting to see what you can create with this material and how you can process it and what machines and uh, and skills are available out there. And it's gonna be very exciting to see what you can create. So I'm gonna send you this uh, box over here. I'm gonna run off to the main now and you will hopefully have it by early next week. So see you around and thanks you, thank you for a lot for the work you're doing. The carpet he sent over is pretty thick, so it could be a challenge for the team, but we're really hoping we can make this happen and see if carpet shoes could be a really genuine way of stopping these materials heading to landfill. When it comes to the specifics of the material, they are ever-changing, but are generally made in two parts of a top and bottom material. The top materials are usually polyester, polypropylene, or polyamide, but there is currently also a big demand for natural fiber carpets, so they are often used in some sort of blend with other polymers. So, it's that time in the video where we pass off the materials to the workshop, leave it in their capable hands, and see what they can come back with. I'm not gonna lie, it's been quite a while since we filmed the intro for whatever these are, so I've no idea what to expect. Uh, I can't, I can't see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, they're like, so 70s it hurts. <laughs> What? 
toe box. It's the, the, that, that fabric is incredible. They are amazing. <laughs> it's like when you look through the, the scraps of carpet that we were sent, I'm just like, there's, there's no way that anything's going to come out of that other than something hilarious. But they're actually like amazing. We have a size 11 sole on here, and I think they are a 10, but they had to go in on an 11 sole. There's carpet insoles as well. I don't know if you can see that. That's that's a nice touch. Well done. <laughs> I absolutely love them, but as always, my opinion is that of only one man. Um, and I'd love to hear what you think. So get involved in the comments. Let us know. Would you wear carpet shoes? If you have any other ideas, uh, especially especially if they're things like this, like because these are fun, like. We can make shoes out of leather and fabric all day, but things like this are really, really fun. A huge thank you to Carl for getting in touch with this idea and sending us in the scraps. I'll be really interested to see what Carl thinks of these and whether it kind of matches his expectations. Um, but yeah, until next time, share your ideas in the comments, subscribe if you haven't already, and please go and check out the rest of the shoes we've made because there's more ridiculous things like this. And there's also some really cool ones. So yeah, see you later. Oh, 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 oh,